Hey, it's John David here. If you're new to my channel, I make content that focuses on analytics. Both my experience as an analyst out in the field and also interviewing others who use data to drive their decision making process. Use this week's video to go back and highlight one of my past interview guests. Her name is Jasmine O'Connell and she is in the healthcare space. I hope you find this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like more content related to analytics. We developed what we call a provider scorecard and this is a um, a Tableau tool that takes an individual oh, cool. doctor's uh, cost of care, how many times their patients are going to the emergency room, how many inpatient visits they're having, a bunch of metrics like that, and wraps it up across all these various contracts and presents it in an easily digestible format. So you can sit down with the physician and say, okay, here's how the health of your panel is as expressed by things like how often are they seeing a physician, how often do they have inpatient visits, that sort of thing, and then compare them against their peers. So if they have similar patient groups that they're caring for, but Dr. A's patients are going into the hospital you know, 50% more, then there's an opportunity to do some intervention there. You know, maybe cool. we need to do something different with how those patients are being cured for. So you're kind of in like the innovation space. Absolutely. Yeah, the yeah. core of the work that our company does is really focused on innovation in the space. How do we care for patients in a different way so that it's cheaper, uh -huh. it's better for the people who provide the care, it's better for the people who get the care. Um, another thing that we've done recently is uh, created what we're calling a gap list. So many of our contracts require providers to achieve certain quality measures. And these quality measures are things like if you have diabetic patients, they have to have lab values in a certain range to show that their diabetes is controlled. Mm -hmm. So this gets measured on an annual basis. And one thing that we want to do is empower the people we work with to find the patients who aren't meeting those quality measures and intervene before the end of the year. So if you have someone, for example, who has a out of control lab value, maybe you need to bring them into the physician's office and see about a different medication regimen or something else for them. We also have quality measures around things like colorectal cancer screenings, breast cancer screenings, and those are pretty easy gaps to close if you just mm -hmm. know who needs to go in and get a mammogram, right? Or yeah. who, who needs that Ooh. kind of thing. So we built out a tool that shows all of the gaps that we could find in their electronic medical record for these measures, plus all of the information that we see and the information we get from other places. Is that an automated process? So it'll, it like... So we are, we're in an interesting development phase with that. We've got it built out where it comes out monthly and it's a snapshot. So at this point in the month, it pops out. Um, so is that in Tableau? It's in SSRS right now, which is okay. uh, SQL Server Reporting Services. And we're looking at how we can translate that information into Tableau.